Hello, my friend and friend. I'm really excited today because it's not often that we have breaking news in the world of CSS, but yesterday, November 13th, the CSS Working Group resolved to give a name to what we've been calling masonry up until now. And no, we won't be calling that any longer because instead we have a new display type, which is going to be grid lanes. Now, I've already heard a few bowling analogies come up from this. So if you're thinking about doing the next Flexbox Froggy or Grid Garden, maybe grid lane bowling could be something interesting. But joking aside, I'm actually kind of happy with the name that they picked, but I know there's other people that you're listening to this now, you're diving down into the comments to complain about it. So there actually are a few important things to know about before you do jump down to the comments to voice your opinion. The first thing that comes up is the complaints often resolve around it being a name they don't like, right? You don't, you don't think Grid Lanes is a good name for a variety of different reasons in which case you could have had your input on the suggestions given. This whole masonry debate has been going on for well over a year now, and both the WebKit and Chrome teams have been putting out blog posts sort of detailing it, but every time they've done this, they've been asking for opinions on what people think they, we should be calling all of this. Now, a lot of that at the beginning was, should it be its own display type or should it be a subset of grid? And eventually the display type did win out, but during this, there's also been a lot of conversations around the name masonry because a lot of people don't don't like that name since the very beginning there has been pushback on using the name masonry but while all of this conversation was going on both of them were asking for the input and the CSS working group was also actively asking for input on what people would like it to be called and what people's thoughts on this were. I've covered this in a video a while back and as this was progressing and times were going on, I was talking about it in my newsletter and I was sharing on social media to make sure that people were aware that these conversations were going on and that their input could be heard. And this wasn't just like informal polling that was going on with like vibe checks or anything like that. There was an open issue on this that you could go in and give your own feedback on it and say what you thought about it, including even suggesting names when that was coming up and when there was a lot of talk about the different names that were going on. And there ended up being a lot of suggestions, so many so they had an open poll and asked people to vote on the ones they liked and you know rank your top ones and everything like that to try and get an idea of what the public in general thought and not just the small subset of people that were part of the working group. And that idea of like, there, were, there was that big list of names and all these suggestions and this polling going on. And this is a big reason why it took so long to get to this point. It was a little bit frustrating from my point of view of like sitting back and it's just like, oh, let's just make this happen. But you know, there's always been this complaint from people going, the, the CSS working group implemented something too quickly and they made a mistake with the implementation. And this could be the naming of something uh, that maybe isn't as intuitive as we thought. Maybe the syntax of something isn't what we think it should be. And so they really did take their time with this to try and first decide, should it be a new display type or be a subset of grid and got a lot of opinions. And the browser teams were creating prototypes using both versions so we could use it in the browser and see which one actually made more sense. And all of this, we could test out both implementations on either Safari or Chrome. And it's always been around, there's a partial implementation that's been in Firefox for like five years now. Uh, and so we could get an idea of how they're actually working. But then, there was, as I said, there was a lot of pushback against the name Masonry. And that's what a lot of people were just like, just use Masonry, let's go forward with it. But it's because there was a lot of voices saying, no, don't use Masonry. And I think some of those voices were within the working group. But then when they opened it up and are asking for other people's opinions, there was more pushback against it within the general public as well. And personally, I think it's actually a good thing they didn't go with Masonry, just because I think it comes with a little bit of baggage. Everyone's just going to assume it's the Pinterest layout and that's all it's good for. But there are some other good use cases for it as well, that it's sort of that type of layout where things fall into their lanes and they fit in very specific ways, but it can go in the other direction or it doesn't have to be vertical. We can have the lanes go horizontal as well. Uh, and there's some interesting layouts that can come from doing this, including things like mega menus that you wouldn't necessarily think of at first when you're thinking of this type of layout. But even if you don't like it and you have already left a comment complaining about it, saying this is a bad idea, at the end of the day, we're sort of stuck with it, I guess, uh, but not even really being stuck with it. I think we should just be happy because there is a name for it now. We're going to have a display grid lanes, and that means things should actually start moving forward. Whether you like the name or not doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Uh, and I don't mean that in like a condescending way that your opinion doesn't count, but more in terms of it's more important that they picked a name because clearly there was a lot of divide on what this should be called and nobody was going to be happier. Not nobody, but there'd be a lot of people that think they made the wrong decision. So you just have to pick something at one point and they eventually got down to grid lanes, which had a lot of support behind it. Uh, it was probably my third choice out of the ones that were there, to be honest. I liked a few of the other 
suggestions better, but I'm actually quite happy with grid lanes. I think it's a good name to describe what's happening. And I like that it has grid in there personally. And the other uh, hopefully exciting thing around this is because they've picked a name for it with Firefox having that partial implementation from the original spec from like five years ago, as well as in Safari having a full implementation of it in technical preview and Chrome having their version of the proposal behind a flag in, in Chrome. Uh, all the browsers have put work into how this is going to work. The properties and values that they've used along the way will have to have new names to go along with it, but those names should come quite quickly now that the display type has its name that's been resolved. And because all the browsers do have some sort of implementation of the behavior already built into the browser, hopefully that means that things actually go really quickly from this point forward. And yeah, I'm just, I'm actually just really happy they've picked a name, it's great news. We, as I said, reached a point where there's always going to be somebody that thought it was the wrong name. And so they had to make a decision. They made that decision. And now we have display grid lanes. And that is it for this one. If you like this and you like sort of things that aren't tutorial based where I'm just talking more about things that are happening, uh, you might also like my newsletter. I have a lot of that type of thing over there. So you can sign up for it. The link is down in the description. And with that, I'd like to say a very big thank you to my enabler of awesome Johnny, as well as all my other patrons and channel members for their monthly support. And of course, until next time, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.